Hello and welcome to The Sherlock's Show. I'm Georgie Corridge Cole and joining me on the sofa today are Hattie Cotmore, Polly Sayer and Lou. Hi, welcome ladies. Coming up on the show, we'll be looking to the high street for some mega cool evening looks. Plus, the founder of the really successful British jewellery label, Missima, will be joining me on the sofa for our brand focus, a segment where we talk to the founders of some of our favourite brands, see their best sellers and discover what's new. But... Before we get to that, we have got to talk about the John yeah. Lewis ads. Uh, I got an email at 7.01 this morning from the press office. And can I tell you this? I was view, I was view 221. Yeah, I thought that really when impressive. I saw that on your Instagram, I was like, well, by the time I watch this, it's not going to be that, that few views. Oh, I know. That's yeah. impressive. You see, I was view 220. By the time I got to the office, there were 150,000 oh well, views. Everyone seen it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. love it. Love Everyone that. seen excitable Edgar? Yeah. yeah. He's so cute. It's just the start of Christmas. It really okay. is. Oh, yeah. Once you see that John Lewis advert. Christmas has begun. Yeah, I'm so festive now. I've watched it. I'm really ready for like I know. Christmas yeah. songs. It's funny that that's all it takes. Yeah. They're yeah. so clever. I was wondering, do you think they go to one agency or do you think they pitch it out, pitch it out to yeah. five yeah. and then see yeah. who comes back? And I wonder what advert B, C, D, E yeah. options were that they didn't go with. Yeah, there must be so much pressure on that team as well because I think it's the thing that the advert that everyone is yeah. anticipating. Mm. Oh, God, it's yeah. The, um, the Christmas oh, advert. It yeah. really made it's me have a lovely feeling inside. Yeah. I know, I cried. I cried and laughed within the same minute or yeah. however long. The bit where she rings, if you haven't watched it, watch it. The bit where this little gorgeous redhead girl rings the doorbell oh. and he answers the door and he's oh, so oh, the He's just got teary eyes. I was like, oh, choke, choke, choke. Yeah. Yeah. But um, it did make me laugh this year as well. Yeah. Usually yeah. I do just find it quite emotional. This was quite funny. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Sweet. There are those moments like when the music suddenly cuts and then you see the whole crowd yeah. like, react yeah. together. He's got his bow around his neck. Oh, I know, yeah. they gagged him. So they gagged him so he can't be that fine. I know, I did think, well, maybe it's just going to be a funny one this year. I thought, okay, they've gone for the yeah. funny. Yeah. And then I went, oh, when she rings the doorbell. So good. And the yeah. music as well. Like, the music is something that I really yeah. look out for. It was kind yeah. of like the old days of the Burberry fashion show where you'd be like, who's the star that they've got singing? Mm, yeah. um, who's that acoustic? And it's the lead singer of Bastille yeah. this year. Yeah. Is that who yeah. it is? Yeah. I was wondering. Thank you, Lou. Yeah. Uh, I was watching with my two-year-old who's not very well today so Aww. she was in my bed and she went oh, I know like dinosaurs mommy can we watch Peppa Pig <laughs> so it's, it hasn't dragon. quite hit the dragon yeah oh dragon dragon, dragon. anyway she did not like Edgar uh, she wanted to watch Aww. Peppa Pig anyway I thought it was fab yeah. I, want to, I want to see all the rest now Sainsbury's yeah. yeah. always does a good yeah. Christmas ad don't they uh, and m &S. okay well in the spirit of Christmas our Christmas gift guide I'm going to come to you Hattie yeah. because you, your team has done a wonderful job. With it's a big project. It is. Our Christmas gift guide went live on the site yesterday. Yeah, It's looking so great. Excited. Thank you. I look like, I'm so happy with how it looks. It looks amazing. The design is amazing. But it is such a big team effort here. I think everyone's involved. And yeah, yeah it's like sheer looks Christmas. That's I know, I know. Anyway, big... Big relief yesterday when we yes. finally pressed the button mm. and everyone. Mm. Can I just say, everyone's wearing a piece of Miss Summer jewellery today. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, look at your Lovely. earrings. Yours they look so are good. Sad. So I good. think Marisa is wearing those today as well. Yeah, yeah they look so good. Those cool. were like, I was not sure whether to get your waffly ones or these ones. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe my next purchase. I'm I know, sure and I've got nice. another big, chunky, chunky gold pair, which I'm not going to say that yeah. I've been living in. We were saying, if in doubt, Missima for a gift is just oh my God, yeah. totally yeah. always going to go down well, yes, isn't they, it? They definitely feature heavily in the gift guide. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, check out the Christmas gift guide. The John Lewis Christmas ad and the Sherlock's Christmas gift guide are, are out now. Yeah. So, you know, day. what more do you need? <laughs> Some old wine, I think. Carols. Yeah. Oh, Christmas yeah. carols. <laughs> Uh, we'll leave that to Charlotte. She's back from her honeymoon uh, at the end <laughs> of the week. No <laughs> doubt we're going to be listening to Christmas music yeah. as of pretty soon. Um, we're going to talk about Katie Holmes. I mean, the girl is back. You cannot have failed to notice that Katie Holmes' post-relationship with uh, Jamie Foxx, yeah. this is yeah. Jamie Foxx, isn't it? With Jamie Foxx is, she's back with a bang. She's back with a new stylist. Mm. She's looking incredible. Yeah. Yes. Um, it all though. kind of started with the Kate Brodigan, yeah. yeah, and everyone like I think no one expected her to be no. wearing that. That obviously Kate Brodigan, yeah. What well, Kate? Kate the brand. Oh, the brand. The brand. K H. Yeah. Sorry, I was like Kate, Kate, Kate. And it was oh, like a, a knitted bra and a cardigan over the top, and she just looked so cool. Effortless, yeah. Effortless. Yeah. like yeah. flying down the tea and so not effortless. Respect. And I'm just gonna drop. I'm yeah. gonna yeah. control with my mic, but I'm gonna just drop my cardigan yeah. so effortlessly. And I think yeah, what's so interesting about it is that it's quite unexpected from her, isn't yeah, it? Definitely. Because she's never been the kind of person you think, 
Katie Holmes, great style, but yeah. she's really upped her game yeah. and I'm loving her at the moment. Oh Do you God, think Jamie so Foxx dumped her for not being sexy enough and she's gone, oh. I'm going to show you Jamie Foxx? Because <laughs> she is looking super so, yeah. hot. I almost isn't don't know if she's put that much thought into it. I watched her in an interview talking about the cardigan and she said she just saw it and she thought, no. it looks cosy but no, sexy. No, that's Do you think so? you're that lovely oh, that yeah. you... Yeah. I just like to think maybe it's just sort of... It's well just thought. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's working. It was carefully placed off the shoulder, yeah. the bra being, you know, it was yeah. all... Yeah. 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 But it's also, her style is quite um, relatable. I think a lot of people can recreate Definitely. those looks and get a bit of kind of day-to-day -day mm. inspiration. There's one look in the feature where she's got this amazing um, floor length cream long sleeved philosophy dress with the, like a lace slip which yeah. is amazing. Yeah. So, so cool. cool. Yeah. But then she's got again Kate leopard print boots which just unexpected combo yeah. mm. and it works. And she's yeah. gone for it on the makeup hasn't she as well. She's yeah. wearing heavier yeah. makeup. Yeah. She looks great. Um, yeah. She looks really great. Really, yeah. I know. Impressive stuff. And I think because she's got such a a warm, friendly face, yeah. it doesn't feel intimidating. No, she's got that girl next door, Joey. Yeah. Um, anyway, on the subject of fashion, like to know it um, released a report which said they'd seen an increase in searches of hiking boots of over a thousand percent. We ran wow. a piece on the site the other day. What do, what do we think about these? I mean, they are. Everywhere. Everywhere. I mean, I, I was, believe it or not, I was an army cadet back in the day. Really? <laughs> I know, it's quite hard to believe. <laughs> but I was with Rich doing a bit of come shopping this week and I was like, they just make me, they just remind me of my army core boots. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of different styles. There's almost the long cadet army-ish boot and then there's the sort of softer shearling walking they're boot, good. which I think yeah, those are the ones that those. are a little bit more feminine. Um, okay, so we're going more walking booty. Yeah, yeah. I think so. I think that, well, there's there's a variation of styles depending on what your what sort of aesthetic yeah. you're going for. Yeah. Um, but I love those ones. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Have you got any? I haven't got any. I tried on the Grenson. Do you remember Holly Willoughby? She also like oh, yeah, she she from, yeah. from last year. She really brought them onto the market. Yeah. Um, and they sold out, I think, instantly. But they've mm. got a shearling, like a shearling tongue, a grey felt yeah, um, I love those ones. fabric. Uh, they're just they're cosy and warm and wintry, yeah. but comfortable, mm. but look interesting. Um, Would you get suede, though? Mm, Concerns me in the rain yeah. and the snow and all that. Yeah. No. OK. Probably Have you not. got any, Polly? I've got a pair, but they're not the Grensons. I would love those at some point. But I've got just a classic black pair that are lined with like faux shearling. And they're kind of really practical, obviously, for the weekends. Chuck it on with a big jumper mm. or whatever. But I also think you can make them feel a little bit more sleek, like yeah. with a longer coat or something mm. in a roll neck. Mm. Yeah, I think they're quite versatile, like more versatile than you think. Definitely. Okay. Hattie. I mean, you're just like walking sort of <laughs> Blair Waldorf. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, completely yeah. gorgeous. I don't really um, do practical shoes, <laughs> to be honest. I like them. I think maybe they're just not for me. Yeah. I'd rather. I do have some Doc Martin boots, which okay. are like I think you need a pair of good practical boots. Yeah, yeah you definitely do for when you need them. But I'm not going to be wearing them every day. No. I think. No. A shame. Well, I have to say, if you're if you're <laughs> not into the sort of heavy black, which I'm not, I think they look very cool on someone a bit younger and yeah. you know a bit more dressed down than I am. But the White Company have got. A pair that are are they sort of tanny topy yeah. um, with a bit of shearling yeah. mm. and they're really really awesome. Gorgeous. So they would look great with like what you're wearing today. Yeah, yeah. I know yeah. they're really cool. I'm quite I'm quite tempted on those. I but think the black clumpy army boot style. Not for you. Not, yeah. for, not for you. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I think that's what we've got time for. Uh, but coming up next, we will be taking you through the high street party wear pieces from our recent lookbook. Shoot, if you haven't seen it, you must, so don't go away. Where are we today? We are at Topshop flagship store. The big one. And what are we going to be doing? A bit of a come shop with me. Have a scout around the shop floor. And we're both going to pull together a couple of outfits. So, so sexy. good. Are there any facts like how often a Topshop denim is sold? I think online it's we sell a pair of Jamie jeans every 10 seconds. It's really oh. nice coat, which is on sale. 55 pounds. How cool is that? It's such a nice party outfit. The editor sell out all the time. Tis the season to be sparkly. That is so cool. Stores opening, we're running out of time. Ah, Where are we today? We're at Spirit of Christmas. 
Yes, we're at Olympia. It's Laura, my favourite place. How do you pronounce your name? Samathe. It's a nice gym bag. It's really nice. Pronounce Samathe. Samathe. I heard it here first. So cute. Is that a unicorn? So Technically cute. a pony. 100% cotton, 25 pounds or two for 40. Pick of the bunch. Oh, Big shout out for Dundas London. Love their shirt. It's made it a plastic box. It baffles. Look at that. I mean, the mind boggles, right? It's going to obviously last forever. Very nice. And those blankets as well. That's a brand that's on the right side of history. I love a bit of neon with beige like that. Oh. Sweet. Black truffle cheddar. How's it taste? Fucking oh, no. Do you like truffle? Yeah. Size it's that time of the year where we're all in need of some new party wear. For grown up, sophisticated styles, those in the know head to Reese. And their evening wear this season is mega. Recently, we shot Lou, Charlotte, and Polly from the SL fashion team for a lookbook featuring some of their favourite pieces available right now. So today, we thought we'd share the looks with you and see the product in person. Can I say, I was so proud of that shoot. I had nothing to do with it. You absolutely nailed it. I was like, that's my team. And look what we've done. And it was bang on. It was so, so, it was so exciting. Yeah. I think we get extra points because we filmed at night. <laughs> and it was uh, do. so, very so cold. freezing. <laughs> um, but we shot by the Albert Bridge, which is if so anyone doesn't know, the most beautiful setting in London, especially at night. If I'm getting mm. a taxi back, I'm always like, oh, can we go by yeah. Hamlet Bridge? <laughs> um, so it felt really festive yeah. and gorgeous and down by the river. It was great. It. Great yeah. setting. All look seriously hot. Makeup was amazing. Hair was amazing. Yeah. Clothes were amazing. Yes. Yeah. Lou, your first look. So I went Loved for, it. I was kind of going for a modern Sienna Miller in Alfie look. Oh, New Year's Eve. Yeah. that makes sense. So um, I've got this incredible white, white grey oh, shearling so coat. Um, I also it's get cold. Great. Yeah. So it's nice to have a layer that is like a point of interest for your party mm -hmm. look rather yeah. than everything that's underneath. Yeah. Um, which I just think is amazing. And you're going to wear this. It's kind of looks sort of vintage. It could last in your wardrobe for ages. It's not a trend piece. Mm -hmm. I love yeah. the fact that it's not white. It's, it is that sort of, it's like a it's dirty like, white. white. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of grey, silvery tone. But it's, it's really, cool. yeah, it's, it's really cool. It would look quite sort of blingy, wouldn't it, in white? Yeah. I think that's yeah. fab, I fab. I imagine relatively pricey, it but... Is, it is. God, you'll have piece. that. You really, I always say it, you'll have that forever. Yeah. You mm, will have that forever. Completely. Amazing. Um, and you teamed that teamed with... Teamed with a metallic knit cami um, and some leather skinnies. I think you like you cannot go wrong with a pair of leather skinnies. Mm. Part of year, I'm wearing some today. Um, I just think they're so versatile. I know we always talk about dress up, dress down, but really they are. And it's a very simple look, a, a cami, leathers and a, and a jacket, but I think it kind of had that relaxed, effortless look that I was kind of yeah. getting. What I like about this is all of these things. I mean, this, amazing for weddings. Jeans you can wear with chunky knits. This exactly. you can wear with a pair of jeans and heels. Yeah. I, I, you know, spending loads of money on one dress. Exactly. To me, hurts a little bit. I like the idea that those are three different pieces. Exactly. Mm. Really versatile. Yeah. It's going to work hard in your wardrobe. Because, you know, look number two, yeah. which was, I mean, super glam, is perhaps something you're not going to wear on every night no, out. Exactly. It was a good, again, an, an LBD, especially a velvet one, I think is a great piece to have in your wardrobe when you think, oh my God, I just don't know what to wear. And also it's covered up if you haven't tanned, if you don't, you're not feeling great mm. in your body. We're having that high neck, long yeah. sleeved was but, but, perfect but, but, for me. But, oh, yeah, I mean. The back, so I it's got this it. amazing cowl draping back, which is a real statement um, and unexpected. I remember mm. with the photographer, I took my coat off and she was like, oh, the back, we yeah. need to get the back. Mm, yeah. So yeah, it's so a really cool. great one. Um, Loved it. Wore it with tights. And then this coat. And it's got, sorry, it's got a bit of, it's got a bit of stretch in it, that yeah. dress, yeah. hasn't it? So actually, you know, I could, that's quite nice. Exactly. It feels good, doesn't it? Yeah. And the length as well is a little bit longer, but if you like, I quite like a short dress in it. <laughs> you can sort of hoik it up a little bit. So yeah. whatever, whatever you like. You like. Um, I'm also stroking this, so soft. this coat. Lush. I mean, so soft. Yeah, really. Faux fur this season is just beyond. I don't know what I they know. put in the yeah. mix, so but come on, conditioner or something. It yeah. feels seriously good. <laughs> Gorgeous. Yeah, really elegant. I actually think it's a detachable collar. Yeah, it's a ah. detachable collar. Um, elegant, sophisticated, chic. It's a great length. Um, going to keep you warm. And again, you know, you can wear that on a number of different occasions. A good, yeah. just smart coat. I mean, pure yeah. reset, isn't exactly. it? Yeah. I mean, that's something they Lush. do really yeah. well. You nailed it. You nailed it. Of course you did. Yeah. Polly, so did you. Right. Um, your look, number one. Lush, right? Blew me away. I mean, I'm not going to lie. This dress. Yeah, I love this. Was so just much. super hot. Wasn't so, it? so cool. Like, everyone loves a girly dress, 
but I think this one just feels a bit cooler. It's almost like an oversized blazer. I mean, this isn't girly at all. No. no, it's not really at all, but that's what I mean. It's kind of like right, something a bit more not, edgy, yes. maybe like a bit cooler, androgynous. And, you know, oh. Anna Bromelow wrote about tux dresses last week, but oh, it's just so cool. I love this sort of satin lapel. Gives it a little bit of a difference. Pair of color heels, some cool, like, sparkly earrings. I just think that looks so, so cool. I, I saw a Balma tux dress a, a couple of uh, years yeah. ago now, and I loved it, and it was crazy money. And I've been looking for a good one yeah. for a really long time now. This one, I like it's not too short. Some no, it's no. mega short. Yeah. This is, I mean, they've nailed it with this, yeah. haven't they? It's a really comfortable length, actually. It's kind of just above the knee. So if you're not up for wearing something super short and revealing, this is actually a really nice option. So and nice. I think you could wear that open as almost like an yeah. extended tuxedo jacket. Yeah. yeah. And if you're someone who doesn't want clingy and tight and whatever and just wants to show off their best bit, i.e. Yeah. the bottom half of their legs and not too much arm and mm. not too much whatever. I mean, totally. you, you just can't go wrong with that. I think yeah. it's and it looks really so cool. It does look so expensive. Really cool. Well, look, number two was Equally yeah, as cool. I love this so I was much. in the store with Rich this week and I was like, oh, that's the suit she wore. Oh, it is so gorgeous, isn't amazing. it? Amazing. I'm going to pass you yeah, the jacket. Definitely. It's just um, such a nice colour. I think you'd wear a lot of kind of darker colours around the party season, but it's quite nice to go for this nice sort of champagne shade, a bit lighter. And yeah, like it's such a nice cut, it's kind of loose fitting. The trousers are a nice straight shape. And then I've just gone for a matching sort of cami underneath, because you could wear it done up, mm. but if you do fancy, you know, wearing something underneath, you don't want to be too revealing, then that is a really mm. nice option. Yeah, I mean, I'd have to say, I'd probably ditch the cami, nice yeah. as it is, yeah. and just go like that. Yeah. But also, love that those are elasticated waist. Love yeah, those. so comfortable. Really. So lovely, love the colour, mm. great. And That's love, different. yeah, there are quite a few cream tuck suits mm. um, out there right now. I love that, you know, not everything has to be black, no, so I thought no. that was a really, really nice yeah. pick. You look, you look great. You look Thanks. great. Um, okay. Well, girl number three is on her honeymoon. Hurry up now, Charlotte. <laughs> yeah. I think we're done. We're, we're done with this. It's come back to work. Um, she looked fab, didn't she? So gorgeous. Um, so gorgeous. She was good in anything, doesn't she? Frankly, mm. but she looked really, really good. Um, gosh, Love I this. loved this blazer. To me, this is also quite androgynous. I actually yeah. went yeah. to a 40th party at the weekend, and the host, the male, was was wearing. Um, a smoking jacket like Amazing. this. Amazing. Yeah. It looks really cool. So I was like, ah! Um, Very cool. But this is great. Love and, the colour of this. And it's nice that it's the colours that aren't are matching as well. Obviously, mm. you could get, I think there's a matching jacket for the trousers and as there is for the blazer. But it's nice to mix it up. And, you know, we're talking about buying pieces that you're not going to wear just once. You can style them in different ways with mm. other pieces. And that is the beauty of a two-piece, mm. isn't it? Yeah. And Charlotte's made it in her photos a bit more feminine by not, you know, doing it up and wearing something underneath, but the kind of deep plunge yeah. gives it a more feminine feel and it's so sexy. So yeah. sexy. Yeah. And again, that is, you're going to have that forever. Yeah. It's really timeless. I feel like all of this is quite timeless. I think if you are going to spend money on party wear yeah. that you don't wear all the time. And it is quite ageless you, as well, yeah. I think. Mm. Yeah, I think you want stuff that's not on a date and I feel like you could come back to these pieces yeah. year after year, I really yeah. do. Definitely. Um, well, her... Second look was no exception. Um, what a oh, great talk about soft. Uh, that is just soft. when it was cold, we were all like, "Can we put the fairy coat on?" <laughs> it's so it's lovely. like a hug in a coat. Yeah, it really. Is. Is. Um, and then these oops, oh, great no. culottes. I've dropped the body. Slippy. Uh, I'm going to give you the culottes, yeah. <laughs> Lou, while I put the body back on the hanger. Bodies are everywhere right everywhere. now. Everywhere, and yeah. such a sort of unexpected, um, like essential piece of your. A party wardrobe, you know, mm. everyone kind of goes for that lovely tucked in look. Mm. But this, I think, with the draping, and again, it's quite mm. low, so quite sexy. Very sexy. I don't know if you can see the sort of metallic sheen on it. Mm. They've also got a velvet version. Um, oh, have they? Yeah, really, Ooh. really cool. I like the sound of that. Mm. I, love, I love, a, love a body. Um, the leather fab cuts. trousers. Yeah. Um, these are, you know, the shape of the season. Um, and that wonderful yeah. coat. Gorgeous. Anyway, you nailed it, ladies. I really thought that was. Class. <laughs> um, everything will be linked in the show notes below so you can shop all of our favourites from there. Next, I'll be talking to the founder of Missima, the jewellery brand that is literally taking the world by storm.
Purveyor of all things gold, best known for their layering pieces and vintage-inspired pendants, Miss Mert has long been Sherlock's favourite for affordable, easy-to-wear pieces. After several successful brand collaborations with Lucy Williams, loved by the likes of the Hadid sisters, Margot Robbie and the Duchess of Sussex, to name but a few, Miss Mert has quite rightly hit the big time and I'm thrilled to welcome founder and creative director, Marisa Horton. Hi, Welcome. Georgie. How, How are nice you? Nice to see you. We go back so long. We do. And I was just saying earlier to Rich that, you know, I remember a decade ago. Absolutely. When we started, we were yeah. early days of our businesses. And we, and were, we had offices opposite yeah, each other. Yeah. And, and you, it was literally just you and oh, probably yeah, just totally. me and a couple of others. But me, my mother and my sister kind of literally beading away. I know. Yeah. And now, I mean, fastest growing 100 businesses in the UK. I mean... Congratulations. Thank you. What an amazing, amazing success story. Thank you. Your background, you were telling me earlier that you started at Richemont. Yes, which I did. I hadn't known. I know, I know. I don't um, think many people know that. I didn't know what I wanted to do, so I thought, I want to go into something that has brands and is creative, but on the business side. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, I'll learn more about how you do that. Um, I don't think I learned that much. <laughs> I learned what, what I didn't want to do. Right. But that's sometimes the most important thing. You learned that you didn't want to create super blow the doors off expensive products. No, I think, I think I learned that I wanted to create something that was more for every day and for people like me, and it was things that I was looking for, mm -hmm. and that, you know, it was more about, you know, talking directly to your customer, mm -hmm. and that was the most important thing. And what made you do it? What gave you the push to actually get started? Because there's one thing, having yeah. an idea, it's yeah. quite brave to actually start it. Well, I'd started it on the side as a hobby. Right. So it was my side hustle. It was your side uh, hustle. Which is my new favourite expression. I know, I love it. Um, although it's very Gen Z, I feel very <laughs> cool. Um, so I started on the side. I'd always been collecting gemstones. I was beading around the kitchen table with my mum. It was very much a hobby, well, a passion that became a hobby. And then finally decided to take the plunge because started like taking it to little shops, you know, selling my wares, literally kind of unrolling my thing. And um, we got some traction. We got loads of interest. It was selling really well. And I finally thought, OK, let's quit my job and give this a go. It was well, scary. Thank God you did. <laughs> but for people listening that, you know, might be thinking about it, I always say it's really important to, you know, realise Maria Hatz, Stephanie's founder of Rodeal, always says there's no such thing as an overnight success. Oh, my goodness, no. It, it takes time. It takes, always takes mm. a lot longer than you think. Yeah. And I always a thought lot. I'd have sold my business in three years and be, you know, drinking martinis on some Caribbean island. Still at it. I um, am drinking the martinis, though. Good. Well, so am I. We I mean, doing that another time. But, you know, it takes a while, doesn't it? And you've it, been Not it just a, a while. I think you've got to persevere. And I think there's a lot of people that think, as you say, three to five years. It, you've got to be dedicated to this. This is, you know, my baby. Well, now I have, like, over 60 people. They have got over 60 babies, children. Amazing. That, Amazing. You know, are part of the team, part of the family. And... Yeah, it's been 12 years. It's been a really long ride. And I think people think it's an overnight success. But I think that's what also makes us not take it for granted yeah. and not become complacent mm. because there's so many ups and downs. It's such a roller coaster ride. But it, it's worth it if you really you know, persevere and just yeah. keep at it. And I mean, we've got to touch on Lucy Williams yeah, and your collaboration. I mean, yeah. you, are, you have led the way in influencer brand collaborations. I mean, you are the case study of how you do it. Well, I think, you know, it just came about naturally and authentically. And that's what, on the one hand, yes, that's luck. On the other hand, it was a real friendship, a real connection, a real um, understanding of what, you know, Lucy loved in her style and what our style was and how we could bring it together. And I think that a lot of other people make it a business yeah. transaction. It's not and forced it's so obvious. with you, is it? And, and I think that... You know, we still went into it very carefully and in a considered way, but really not knowing what it was going to be like and how successful mm. it was going to be. And, wow. you know, we've just kept it going because it feels right. And mm. if it ever doesn't feel right, then we wouldn't. But I think that's what our brand has also grown, mm. kind of grown up on, is, is our customer knows that it's what, you know, what is real. Mm. Well, I mean, credit to you. Seriously, I mean that because it was such a smart move. Um, how, after all this time, are you... Are you, you know, you've got to keep evolving. How do you keep, your product just keeps getting better and better oh, and better. Thank you. And where are you getting inspiration from to keep doing that? I think that if every season it's not getting better, you're doing something wrong because with everything, it doesn't matter what industry you're in, what you know, type of thing you're designing, shoes, bags, jewellery, etc. If it's not better than the last one, then, you know, why are you doing it? And mm. something's wrong. So, um... I have a great team as well, so I can't take all the credit. We're all about team at Missima, and, you know, I have so much support, and I'm getting all these, you know, 
other points of view from you know my team are also our customer so we also ask everyone what do you like and yeah. we'll vote on it yeah. and it's not just me deciding we vote on what what yes. we all collectively love and what we feel is right for the brand and we just believe in don't produce anything that you don't really love um and we yeah, design, so if there's a bit of doubt it, we design everything in-house mm. i think people don't realize that because there are also so many other brands out there that just buy in mm. from china and that's why we, it all looks the same yeah, and we well, they all now look like look well, like us because we have well, such counterfeit problems. Biggest but, form of flattery and all that. Yeah, bit annoying. Um, bit annoying also, but no, it's fine. Flattery. It's um, we're moving on and we're on to the next thing. So at the end you of the day, you just got to be better and keep evolving. Yeah, yeah. and you got to just focus on what you're doing. Yeah. And inspiration-wise, sorry, I didn't even answer the question. <laughs> It's everywhere. I mean, it doesn't matter what it is. At the moment, we're working on something with everyday objects, um, which. You know, you just think, right, it's a textured piece of, um, well, I shouldn't go too into it because it hasn't launched yet. Okay. But it's everyday objects. And you think, wow, God, wouldn't that look cool as a piece of jewellery? And, and you, but you've got such signature in your collections. I feel That's like really important. as much as you've got yeah. these copycats, yeah. it all feels very yeah. missing. I think it? it all needs to be able to be worn together, work together. It doesn't matter whether it was, you know, we're not se we're not um, all about seasons. Mm. We um, bring something out when it's ready and when we feel proud of it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's the most important thing. Any brand, who, whatever you're doing, you have to have a distinctive look and, and style and an identifiable brand DNA. Yeah. Um, otherwise, yeah, it all looks the same. Yeah, quite, quite. Well, we're going to have a look at some of your pieces okay. now. So, start us off. You've brought in some of the, the new pieces yep. and also some of your yep. best sellers. Um, best sellers over here? Sort of, although like I was saying, they all kind of work together. So even if it's a bestseller from a few months ago, it still layers perfectly with it something also, new. It also still feels so current, yeah, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. So, That's what's clever. So, and the bestsellers will sometimes last for years because they are everyday pieces and they're classic pieces. So, for example, here Talk you have a bestseller, the beauties. double... Sorry. Go, 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 no. The double beaded necklace, that's a bestseller. And it's one of those classic pieces that you want to start your layering game off with. Wear it every day, never take it off. And then you add this new Lucy Williams um, piece from the 1987 collection, which basically adds a bit of chunky, kind of gold. It's more I statement. Mean. It's obviously more retro. I love the fact that it's got that more square. Um, can you see the square? I can. This, I'm going to do and that. Then that so toggle, get inside. But this is just... So cool, isn't it's, it? It's, it makes it a bit more kind of, not masculine, but a bit more kind of cool and yeah, raw. Yeah, a bit and, more modern, yeah. doesn't it? It's all about taking a classic and then giving it a twist, making it more modern. I love and that. I love that. I love it like that too. Yes. I love I love when you can wear things different ways. Mm. Like right now, I think you're wearing our Axiom chain. Yeah, which is one I of our am sport, proudly sporting yeah, too. I don't want to get in trouble for banging on my mic. Hopefully I'm all right. Um, just lovely. So this yeah. is Lucy Williams. That's a Lucy Williams from the Roman um, collection. And I love the fact that it has the detail of the oh, uh, braided surround. But the Axiom chain, we made from scratch. So everyone started copying all our chains. So we said, right, you know what? Let's start making our own chains. So each link is designed by our team. It's made... Um, it is made by us. So this is not a chain you buy in. And that's what I love. And then we have this hidden clasp. And actually, one of the Christmas office party games is going to be who can take it off the fastest. Because it's so <laughs> hidden, you actually can't find it. The other day, they were saying, like, Gigi Hadid, Hadid hasn't taken it off for, like, two weeks. In fact, I think oh, now it's been nice. about... Oh, nice. Well, now it's me been about, Gigi, we're enjoying your necklace very much. Now it's been about two months, and we were joking. It's because she can't find how to take it off. <laughs> <laughs> well, happy days. Uh, but, but, all the more press coverage for you. Yeah. But um, one more thing about that necklace that me. you're wearing, which I love, is that I'm wearing it longer. And everyone goes, oh, how come yours is longer? Because I've combined the bracelet and the necklace. Ever. And so that. So get the pair. Yeah. If, you thought, if you're trying to decide, the well, answer can, is to get both. So you can get the bundle and you can get the bundle for less, obviously. Ah. But then you can also do it as a lariat and attach it. So you can do three different ways of wearing, which nice. I like. Nice. Yeah. Love that. I like a yeah. bit of hanging down. Yeah. That's really cool. Um, okay, we've got three wonderful pieces. Are these, these best sellers? Are these three new? Three best sellers. Three so best sellers. I've already spoken to you about the chunky chain, the Axiom. Oh, no, that's the Aegis, sorry. Um, the gold leaf choker. Again, you can wear it as this a choker or a short necklace because they I'm all watching. have extensions. And then, to be honest, the iconic Roman art coin. And Gorgeous. Love the triple link as well, which is one of our signature features. Yeah, the power lovely. Of three, really important to us. Started with my mum, my sister. So Aww. little details like that really count. But you just want them all, don't you? They just look, they just look so good all together. They look together. better together. Yeah, um, they do. Gorgeous. So these are all bestsellers. And yeah. your price point, I mean, it's so smart, Marisa. The market needed this price point, yeah. didn't it? I mean, yeah. everything's kind of... There's a couple over about 250 now, aren't there? Yeah. Some of the chunkier pieces, understandably. But everything's kind of... 
under 200 quid or even under 100 quite a bit it, of it. It took us so long to get the right quality at that price point because it's all about the longevity of the of the gold plating and the fact that you can wear it every day and it really lasts, but yes. also quality but combined with price point. And I do think that when we found that sweet spot is when it really started taking mm, off. Mm. And um, it's that under 150 that is, you know, you can gift it to yourself or you can gift it to someone else. But basically, totally. it's we like to call it a successory. So um, you know, you're it. buying it for yourself Love because that. you deserve Hashtag it. Love that. Hashtag successory. Yeah, exactly. Why not? I deserve it. Yeah. Um, so here we've got some earrings. Yeah. Um, let's talk through these. These are new collection, aren't they? They are new the, collection. They. And they're, oh. they're more statement. Um, no, we do can have... I just say I really love these. I've been living in your, you haven't got them here today. I've worn them already this week, so I thought I, I wouldn't bore everyone with wearing the same thing every time. Um, but the, the chunky ones that you've done with Lucy. Okay. You're wearing some now. I'm wearing some. I'm wearing the waffle. The waffle, which Hattie was wearing, which was yes. amazing. They're These great. are really... I love a face-on hoop, but I think that um, what's great is we have the small hoops by themselves, and you can buy into, you know, small, medium, large, and then you can go statement. And I just... Oh, we've got something so for cool. everyone, you know, whether you're the sort of more subtly stylish or whether you're a statement maker, that's obviously more of a statement maker. I love that it's all getting bigger. I yeah. really do. I mean, these... This train over here. Yeah, this is my thing. Is just, I mean, mega. But again, that's really... That's under 300 quid. Yeah. And... It's really cool, And isn't the gold it? plating process is done to last. I mean, the, you know, the thickness of that gold plating is really important because the thicker it is, the longer it'll last. We've okay. been doing this for 12 years. We're, you know, one of you the original brands with Gold Verme and this Micron uh, plating process. So that's what takes a long time to perfect, you yeah. know? Well, so lovely. Um, got to talk about this. Oh, this, this is, is my a fave. big... I think this is Lou's fave is as it? well. Okay, great. Um, I think this is what she was wearing today. This is a really, really... Gorgeous bracelet, isn't it? So I had this for years, but without the hinge. But I couldn't take it off because if you took it off, it would obviously hurt because it's a claw. It's pretty sharp. So we were trying to perfect the hinge for so long. And I just oh. don't feel like anyone's doing a side hinge. And it's so clever because then it means it fits snugly because you can do that oval small fit, yeah. but then you can still put it on and off really easily with that side hinge. Oh, I think that's yeah. going on my Christmas list. I love list. that. Love Again, that. Again, it's just minimalist. It's simple, but it's still really stylish. Yeah. Yeah, do you love a claw? Love, love that. Um, a couple of other great pieces, we're almost out of time, but these, what do we call these? Uh, I don't actually, Entwine, Entwine, I've got entwine, it. I suddenly thought, like, I don't know the name. Phew, I do know where you yes. <laughs> uh, Entwine, these are really cool again. They're really cool. And, and a, the ones that you're wearing now. Yeah, the waffle. Just if people didn't And again, see there those, are bigger ones that are, can. you know, um, narrower, and then these are sort of smaller and more chunky. So there's something for everyone, because it's really important. Everyone has a different style, and yeah. there's no rules. And you want to express your own individuality and your own style, and you do that through your ear stacking, through your layering, through mm. your, you know, rings. It doesn't need to be stacking rings. It can be one for every mm. finger. Mm. It can be a mix of vintage and new. And just quickly, these, I mean, these trains, I actually pinched this one. Oh, did off you? This. So <laughs> don't let your team see this, because they'll be okay. cross that I didn't follow your merchandising guidelines. No. Anyway, <laughs> this, this is on the stand as well. But I love just this delicate mm. layering up. So you've got the chunky, but also... That's just that's And I think cool. that's what we're known for is the layering. But there's also, there's so many details to this. That, that um, snake chain is actually a square snake chain, which I'd never seen before. And that's what makes it different. And I think that people that know us, it's when you kind of see the product, feel the product, mm. the weight of it. Mm. Um, obviously, as I said, the longevity, but then things like that, which are so different. Mm. Mm. Fab, love. Anyway, before we Out finish, oh, we've yes. got, we have got to talk about this. Yeah, this is Advent the... calendar, 12 days of Christmas. What are we calling it? 12 days to shine. 12 days to shine yeah. when I saw this. I'm hoping everyone can see this. Am I holding it in the right place? Can I open it? Am I, yes. Is anything going to fall I out? I don't think so. I think, it, no, it's all kept behind little um, compartments. This is quite mega. I saw this. I was like, advent calendars have gone up a notch if there's now a miss from a yeah. jewellery. Well, 12, this is what my sister's getting for Christmas. Well, lucky her. I hope she's not going to be watching this. Lucky <laughs> then the surprise is her. done. So what do we got? We've got this... 12 doors. Yeah, this took a really long time to design, I'm not going to lie. This took a 10 or 11 months to design because you have to fit every single piece in there. Mm. And what we have is we have the agate print behind every oh. single box, which is actually from one of my crystals because I've been collecting them since I was five. So we, we photographed one of my favourite right. crystals that became the branding and, you know, behind the... Uh, everything that we do. And then in here... There's little surprises. So some are the hair clips, some are the notebooks, there's a candle, there's the jewellery. Oh, and it's oh all I, the picked yeah, picked I picked a goodie. I picked a goodie. I picked a day five is... 
Oh, that's no. our double um, bracelet, the double beaded bracelet. Oh, and it's one of the best sellers because it just goes with everything. And again, it's that starting point. And you can layer it with whether it's that claw calf or whether it's the flat curb. It, it just looks great with everything. And again, a piece you don't take off. Yeah. I think there are some huggies in there too, which there? You know, are also the best seller. So oh. this is your kind of starter kit. We wanted it to be pieces that everyone would love. Um, and so what, yeah. what are you in for? If you're going to spoil somebody... What do I buy them? What's this going to cost oh, you? Oh, this is, I think it's, is it 375 Okay. But it's worth, I think about, I can't remember what it is. It's worth like six fifty or something. So the, on the website, it tells you what oh, it's worth if you combine all the pieces. Okay. So actually, it's, it, it's expensive, but it's amazing value for money. So, wow. And we're finding a lot of friends are going in together for it. Nice. And that's what's really nice. We're all about, you know, you buy it for yourself, but you also buy it for your friends. And they're going in it together and doing nice. it together. No. Yeah. Well, if my friends are watching, I'd be delighted uh, <laughs> to receive one of those. Uh, Marisa, thank, oh, you. thank you. It's so great to see you again. So nice to Catch see up. you. And I'm just loving watching everything that you're creating. Thank and you. I need to get some of those rooms. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Um, that's it for today. Uh, thank you so much to everybody. Thanks to the Shellouts ladies, to Marisa. All the pieces we've mentioned will be linked below. And don't forget to follow at Miss in the London for even more inspiration. We'll be back next week with fitness, beauty, and of course, lots more fashion. Until then, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and tell your friends. Bye-bye.